No regrets about the abductions and no regrets about the killings. Those are your words. Those are not mine. They're also your deputy's don't words. Put much, don't put words in my mouth. They're also your deputy's words, and he's part of your government, because it's so scary, Mr. President, mm. sitting there and telling the whole country that from this moment on, we should not believe what your deputy tells us about the state of the nation until you speak. Yet we all thought you know, that you're part of the uh, same government. Don't, don't, don't inject my deputy into this conversation. I think it is not fair, since he's not here, to tell you in what context he said whatever he said. I think it is, it is not proper to discuss the deputy president here. And he's my deputy. Please let me deal. But have you asked him let that me, you had a press with, conference? Let me deal with the issues as they are now. I think uh, being personal and, and going that direction does not help. I, I wish this was personal, Mr. President, but it's a really serious national issue that right after you spoke, your deputy told the whole world that he was informing us that extrajudicial killings and abductions had returned to this government that he's part of. How surely can that be personal, Mr. President? I am, I am sure that uh, if you interview the deputy president, he will answer that appropriately. You haven't you asked him? It, you can take it from me that extrajudicial killing will not be part of an administration that I run. I can say that without case. Now, uh, yes, in the interest of moving this conversation forward, Your Excellency, I want us to look into the last two extraordinary...